Alrighty, and here is the video review for the Fans Project Protector Armor. This is the crystal version. Uh, this is one I haven't done yet. Um, and it's pretty much the same as the original version, only now it is translucent, uh, see-through plastic with some paint on it to go with the Sons of Cybertron Henke Rodimus. Uh, I did get the Rodimus set that came with the, uh, the translucent Optimus. I'm probably not going to review that one by itself because it's that crappy deluxe Optimus mold from Generations that I never really understood. And it kind of looks cool translucent, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, we'll focus on the protector here. And you can see it's very, very cool. Um, the way the light hits it, it's just kind of got a shininess to it. Um, it does have the chromed bits, which do stand out a little bit more against the silver paint here versus the yellow on the original protector arm. And here you can see here's the rem remnants of the trailer. Uh, just to see the two side by side, you can see the reds. You can see through it um, versus the kind of lighter red of the original protector. And we'll get into some more comparisons later on. Um, we're not going to focus too much on the transformation since I have reviewed pretty much this set, just not this color scheme before. Uh, twice, if you count uh, Shadow Scyther. So, uh, so yeah, we'll get into it. But basically, you know, like underneath here, um, you just pull him out, push his wheel wells back in. And I love how they use that gimmick on the original figure to make the wheels look like they're sticking out as part of the trailer here. But anyway, and there's the, the, the Sons of Cybertron Henke Rodimus uh, right there in the translucent plastic, uh, which is really cool. Uh, there's the gun underneath here. We'll go ahead and pull that off. Uh, you can, if you want, stick the missile in that to make it look like he's got like a flaming jet thing. That will also come into play with the little uh, roller device in here. Um, he does have the same fin extension. You can pop them off here The uh, that go on, sit over like this in robot mode. Um, I've never really cared for these fin extensions, um, so I'm probably not going to show those off in the combined mode. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, they, 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 they sit right under here. So if we can snap it back on. It's a little harder to get these on than the, on the regular ones. There we go. So yeah, so you pop that off, and then you come back here and you split this, split this open in the back, and then this piece right here, you want to kind of bring the feet down, open this up, and then this piece right here will pop off. That's going to be one piece of armor. Over here we got another piece, same piece on the other side. It's not a little peg inside there. You got to kind of push in to pop it off. So yeah, get both of those off. Open this up. Pop these pieces out right here. And then pop this central piece out right here. And that's all the armor right here that's going to be used for the robot. And we'll put that on in a minute. Now this piece right here, uh, again, you can pull this down, flip this forward, and then you can flip these pieces upside down. And if you have the, uh, the little sidearm micro robot, you can push this down to make a seat for him. And uh, go ahead and get him off a of protector here. You can set him in here so he can drive the little tank. Uh, okay, he's not going in quite perfectly, his arm's back, but he can drive this little armored tank, uh, which is kind of cool there. Um, we'll also go ahead and pop this piece out. You can leave that in in tank mode. That's going to be part of his gun as well, which is going to combine. We'll go ahead and do that. Just snap this piece together like that, and then come under here, flip this out. And get your, there you go, flip that out, and that's going to be his gun. Uh, you can also uh, flip this piece back. Or, or, no, this stays around like this. Flip this around, out, uh, bring this whole piece, pop off, the, like I said, the little roller component underneath here, which is also translucent and pretty cool. Background, stay where you're supposed to be. And then you can pull this piece down here in the middle, uh, fold this piece up, open up the blast shields like that. And then there's a couple little handles back here that flip out that uh, when he's all combined, can pr protector can hold on to, and this can turn into like a giant automated gun turret for him. Oh, so yeah, there's that. Uh, anyway, go ahead and for the main robot, transform Henke Rodimus into his uh, robot mode with a couple minor things that we're not going to do for to get ready for the combined armor mode. Come on, wheel. There you go. So yeah, pull the legs out. Same old transformation we've seen several times on this Rodimus mold. Put these up. Um, pop his 
arms out. Yeah, well, I didn't mean to pop his arm out. There we go. This up, flip it around. You're basically going to transform him all the way to robot mode, except you're going to uh, not fold his feet out down here. And instead of his flipping his hands out, you're just going to bring these up. I like to, you can leave them straight back like this. I like to fold those down. It gives him a little bit more mobility with his arms when he's all combined up. Fold those down, and then you've got Rodimus ready for the armor. You need to take the leg pieces. Flip them around like that. Flip the foot up. Flip the heel up. And then that's just going to snap right onto one leg like that. And same over here. And snap onto the leg. And he's coming together. Alright, come over here. Take this piece. Pull that head piece out. Uh, this piece, I like to go ahead and push the yellow piece out. It makes it a little easier to snap it on. You can leave it in; it'll automatically push out. You can see when uh, when you attach it. But then this kind of hooks under the crotch here, and then you just push this up. There's a couple of these little, little tabs here, and then there's a couple of little tabs here that are going to lock into notches there. Um, and the a translucent orange over the orange sticker on his chest really pops in this mode. It looks really nice. Um, then the arms. So to come out here. Take this piece, uh, lift this up, and flip it forward. Rotate the fist around so the thumb's up by the orange piece. And rotate this piece right here. And then this is just kind of clips over the, the wheel well here. Up onto protector. Like that. And same with this side. And clip it up. There we go. Uh, and go ahead and give him his gun. And then you take the little headpiece you flipped up. I like to pull this faceplate down just a little bit. It helps hide uh, this robot mode head chin. And that just fits right over his head there. Um, like I said, if you pull that faceplate down, the other head is not as visible underneath there. And there is protector in his translucenty clearness. Let's see if we can hold him up to the light and get a really good shot of how that's really not working so well. But he's very nice and shiny and translucent and clear and very cool. Um, down here, the light... I don't know why the light suddenly stopped coming this way. Used, this used to be a great place to get some good light. And, uh... It stopped. Um, so yeah, and like I said, he can, you, can, you can put this in front of him, he can put his hands forward, he can control the, uh, the gun turret. Um, and like I said before, you can attach this little piece under here that flips back on... The roller piece, we can get your. There we go. Flip that back. And he's got, you can see, he's kind of got a missile port there. You can take this uh, flame and make it look like he's racing along. There. Um, you can also, if you have sidearm, uh, or you can use the other gun, uh, but he can turn him into a gun mode and he can plug in this with this piece, right there onto the roller as well. So yeah, um, so there's that. And just as a quick side-by-side -side comparison, here's the crystal protector with the standard protector, uh, with the standard Rodimus. Um, again, like I said, I, I, I like the way the fins, the back fins look without the extenders on versus with them. I just think that, that they're just subtle and they're there and I just think it looks a lot cooler than with the big giant, you know, fins on it. But your, your personal preference, it's up to you. Um, and you just see, like, the, the, it's the same color scheme, more or less, but the, 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 he just looks so shiny. Um, and just real quick, just for fun, since I didn't get to do it when I actually did his review, here's the two of them with Steel Core. Um, and you can see they look really good with him. They're about the same height. I think Steel Core is just a tad bit taller at the top of the head, but uh, they scale really well with Steel Core, another fans project offering. And if you haven't gotten him, like, find one, wait for them to, like, don't pay r ridiculous prices on eBay yet. There's going to be more coming. Be patient, and you can get a Steel Core. And I really, really do like Steel Core. Um, so much to the fact that, like, I have started a team of third-party wreckers. 
Um, I don't know if we're going to call them demolish yours, or maybe I'll just call them wreckers anyway. But um, these guys are definitely on it. Steel Core's on it. Uh, Fans Project Defender is on the th- my third-party wreckers. Um, the Scouting Force X from Perfect Effect is on my third-party wreckers. Um, I put uh, Prime Breakdown on them because I like his body. He just looks big and powerful. I may swap him out with the new Swerve that's coming out. Um... Assaulter, when he comes out from Fans Project, is definitely going to be on there. Uh, Warcry and Flame Blaster on there. And Perfect Effect, uh, the, the RC they did, the motorcycle RC that they just put out, is also on the records. And I think that's everybody that's on my team. Oh, and, and Shafter, TFCon Shafter and uh, TFCon Stronghold from last year. Uh, that's my current team of third party records. Um, and he, th- this is not actually going to be Protector on the records team. I've actually decided that he's going to be called uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, on my Wreckers team. Uh, he's, I'm going to put it, the, the Dr. Wu goggle face on when that gets here, and I'll review that when it shows up. Uh, so he's got more of a visor and makes him look a little bit more different than Rodimus. Um, but he's going to be Fahrenheit. Um, his power is like he's always kind of like heated up, which is why he's got the shiny glowness because this kind of look, makes him look like he's shining and shimmering from just being hot. Um, that's his power. He's got fire powers. Um, Fahrenheit. Um, I'm going to write a whole... I mean, not right, but I've got a whole fiction on, on how these guys got together. And uh, they're going to be my third-party record team. But yeah, there he is. Uh, there is the Crystal Protector armor from Fans Project. Um, it's very cool. Um, even if you already have the regular Protector armor here, um, I highly recommend hunting down the Crystal version. It's so nice. Um, so yeah, but there it is, the Fans Project Crystal Protector. With roller. And giant dun tangy thingy. And roller. So yeah, there you go. There, there, there's the whole set all together. Very cool.